Hello again. Uh, I ate a little something and uh, I'm just sitting here enjoying a few moments of uh, by myself and uh, decided I thought it's about time I do a little more reading on the Toltec Prophecies by Don Miguel Ruiz, the father, uh, senior. We are the light. Changing the dream involves coming to the light, releasing the light, seeing the light from many directions. Our body is light, but it is condensed light. Our mind is light. Our soul is light in different manifestations. Light perceives light in any of the dimensions. This is why we can perceive with the eyes, but we also can perceive with the mind, with the soul, and with the spirit. What is the spirit? I call it intent. Intent, spirit, God. These are names for the same energy. A property of intent energy is that it makes possible any change, any transformation. God is intent. God is spirit. God is God. God is a light. God is the real you. God is the real me. Energy or light is the first manifestation of intent or the first manifestation of God or of the spirit. Everything is alive because of God, because of you. You are not your body. You're not your cells. You're not your mind. You are not your soul. You are light. You are life. Your essence is light, and light is everywhere. Light is a living being. There are billions of different vibrations of light. Light carries all the information for any kind of life on planet Earth. Mother Earth transforms the information in the light from the Father Son to create life. The DNA in each of our cells is a ray from the sun condensed into matter by Mother Earth. Mother Earth. The information carried by the light is known as the silent knowledge. The silent knowledge is stored and passed on in DNA. Therefore, our bodies contain the codes. All knowledge that exists is in the light. Light is the way stars communicate from one to the other, just as light is the way one atom communicates with another atom. Each human has a frequency of light, which is always connected to the sun like a river to earth. If we shift our focus, it is possible to see that the river of light as something solid. It is possible to see that the river of light as something solid in the same way that we see a human hand as something solid. If we shift our focus to a smaller, swifter time and space, we no longer see the human hand as solid. Instead, we can see all the atoms, all the electrons as a field of energy that is moving and not solid. The river of light, like any river, is flowing. It is constantly moving and changing. I'm going to let that be all I read of this today to you. Um, I think a little bit at a time from the Toltec Prophecies is best. Uh, it gives someone time to digest what is being read and how to interpret it. Let your light shine today. Be the light. Be the light for yourself into the, some, and into somebody else's life. As that inner light, that part of the Christ, that part of God that is in you, starts shining and you start allowing it to shine, see how much difference and change comes about in a positive way. Mr. Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. Over and out. Ditto.